they're the finest. Hey, let's see how strong they really are. <laughs> Anytime you like, you can test them. I wouldn't be here selling them if they weren't made of the best steel. And I'll show you how good they are. All right. If they're really that good, I'll buy one. You can all see that. It's an iron rod. This is no fake. I'll match my sword against it. Now watch closely. <laughs> well done. Good sword. How much? I want one. Not much. Only five silver. I'll take her. All that. <laughs> Good day, sir. What can I do for you? Who allowed you to trade here? Oh, didn't know permission was needed to sell things around here. Look, around this town, everybody has to consult me. You didn't get my permission to sell your swords here. You've got a nerve. Well, in that case, I guess I'll just ask your permission now. Right, you men, take him. Right. <laughs> You swine, I'm gonna teach you a lesson. Don't bother, the man's just not worth the effort. Spare his life and just let him go. Get out of here. I'm Xiao Feng. I like the way you handle yourself. Tell me, what is your name? Name Xiao, Iron Man Xiao. And what can I do for you, huh? Since you can handle a sword, why are you wasting your time selling swords? Have something much more suitable for your kind of skill? Please go on. The Japanese have invaded us, scourging the land. I'm on a mission to recruit some men to fight them. Organize some resistance against the Japs. Man like you would be a great help to the movement. Kill Japs? Why didn't you say so? Let's go. Right. But I still have to recruit some more men to help. Let's get some food. Come on. Come inside and sit down. Come on, you men, get them. Right. Wait. Hmm? You spoiled my coat. Now then, you get down on your knees and apologize. Who the hell are you? You had better keep out of this. Say it again. Apologize. Pay for the damage to my coat, then you can go. Damn it! I'll teach you a lesson. Get him! that pretty good. We'd like to thank you for helping us. It was my fight. I'm Xiao Feng, and this is my friend Chao. I need men to help me fight the Japanese. Go on. We're gonna make a stand against them back in Litau. Fight the Japs? Hmm. Hmm.
How much are you going to pay me? What? Pay you? Hmm. Uh. We're fighting for our freedom, not for money. Don't you realize men are dying for their country? There is no money. You fight for free. But me, I fight for what I can make out of it. It was nice to have met you. Goodbye. Wilson, uh? I think we'd better start looking for this man home. Come on, we'd better get a move on now. Yeah. Hey, who? So what now? Listen, Lee, I've had just about enough of you. Your men always look for trouble. Now they're picking on my men. What do you say? It's your fault if you can't control your own men. Don't you try to blame me for what has happened. I'm not going to stand for it. Enough talk. We'll settle this now. Because one way or another, one of us is going to die. Hey. to see you. But why are you here? Brother Hung. Glad to meet you. This is Chow. And by the way you handle those spears, you must be Mr. Lee. That's right. The two of you are very skilled fighters. Now, if you two were to join up together and fight the Japanese, it would make a lot more sense than fighting among yourselves like this. Think about it. Help me to fight the Japs. I guess you're right. We'll stop fighting and go get the Japs. I agree. Sure, we'll fight the Japs instead. Whatever your orders are, I will obey. You will find me a fair person in everything I do. Have your men join us at Lee Town near the beach of the war gods. We'll go first. Right, right. <laughs> Listen to me, friends. This is the way I see it. With the Jap troops here, waiting to join their main force to resupply them with food from Hangzhou, they'll probably attack Songkiang City up in the north. Then they'll have complete control over the greater part of the country. Although our forces are only small, we must try to prevent this link up. We've got to wipe out the Hangzhou force. I guess you're right. They've got to come this way, and when they do get here, we'll be ready to wipe them all out. Right. We must work out a plan of attack. Whatever we do, we cannot afford to fail, otherwise the Japs will overrun us. Yeah, but listen. Do we make our stand down there on the beach, or do we wait until they get into the top? Well... I'll decide later on. After I have looked over the beach tomorrow. Not until then. Mm, yeah, right. it sounds like the yeah, That sounds yeah, really yeah. Okay. okay. What do you think? Yeah. Mm. Oh. Ah, it's you, Mr. Lang. God damn it. Look here, Lang. Just how long have you been outside listening to us? I have just come back here from Hank Chow. There's something you ought to know. That's so. Well, we don't want to know. In that case, I'll just have to go back. No, wait. 
Brother, stay here for a while. No need to leave. You are? I tell you, this guy's only interested in money. Let him go. Uh, Mr. Lang, Chow may have a big mouth, but he's simply being honest. Now then, please go on. The Japs are ready to move out of Hang Chow. Within seven days, they will be here. Huh? I hear that so quick. Seven days. Thank you for bringing us this information. With seven days warning, we should have enough time. Tell me, Ling, did you do this for money or did you do this for your country? Why do you ask? Let's just say that I have my own reasons. Hmm. Please don't be offended. After all, we're all fighting the same enemy. Although, it's not for money. I don't always fight for money. And since it's the Japanese, guess I'll kill a few for free. There'll be no charge, Sha. Good. It's settled then. Now, please wait a moment while I go over some plans with the men. From tomorrow, half of our men will join up with Mr. Hung's troops. They will come under his training and Mr. Chow's. Uh, the remainder will join Mr. Lee and will come under his training. Sir. Uncle Lee and Brother Lin, both of you, will come with me to survey the beach. Sir. You, Mr. Ling, will be kept back in reserve for specialist work. Well, I guess that covers just about everything for now. It's getting late, so let's get some rest. Mr. Xiao, look. It seems to me that this beach is much too open. There's just no cover anywhere. The Japs will probably attack from this direction. There'll be no way at all for us to defend ourselves. No doubt, it will be difficult to hold on here. Right. We'll just have to fortify the beach with some ditches. In that way, we'll bring down their horses. Mm. And that should cause some chaos. But we must draw them to this spot in order to fight them on our own terms. Our best weapon will be surprised. Mm. Charge! Ah! Cut right! Ah! Ah! Cut left! Ah! Ah! Block! Ah! Ah! Charge! Ah! Cut right! Ah! Ah! Cut left! Ah! Ah! And block! Ah! Cut right! Ah! Cut left! Ah! Ah! Block! Ah! Charge! Ah! Ah! Again! Ah! And again! Ah! Ah! Block! Ah, hard. Ah. Well done. And again.